Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Good Smile Company Motoroid, or Motoroid, I don't know which way, uh, well, Go Lion, or what we know them as, uh, well, Voltron. The lions from Voltron. You can see them there in front of the box, I'm gonna put them all off to the side real quick. And yeah, the box here that comes in, yeah, Go Lion. It says Go Lion, because you know, that's it's a Japanese product, it came from Japan, so you know. You can see the nice bit of artwork here of Vol... I'm just gonna say Voltron for me on now. But you see the Gold Lion logo right there, Beast King Gold Lion, and uh, not to, and uh, you got Gold Lion right there, and you know that's the uh, part of the motor. I think I'm not sure if it's Motoroid or Motoroid because I want to Motoroid would make sense for um, how they often pronounce things in Japan, but Motoroid also makes sense because it's a model kit. So anyway, you got that nice bit of artwork there on top here. You have you know same bit of artwork right there. You have a look a little nice up close thing of uh, Voltron right there. You have hey look the lions on this side. You know, pouncing in action. You got, hey, look, the same artwork right here. And on the back, you have a whole bunch of product shots and copyrights and warnings and stuff because it's, uh, yeah, not for children. It's for ages 8, 15 and up. And you can see all those product shots and whatnot. Yeah, and included in the box, you have uh, not one, but two, not two, but three different uh, things. There's the, the this, this, this manual here is for uh, actual, you know, the instructions on how to build the thing, of course. This one is stickers and also uh, what parts are included. Make sure you know, know. And of course, the yellow highlighted parts are the ones that have special bits of paint on them. So, you know, be careful with those. That's all the stickers and stuff. And then, hey, the product shots again. And also, this one is for, well, how to actually use the thing. You know, basically how the uh, assemble it for, you know, because, you know, Voltron, the, it's not just five lions. And also included is a sticker sheet because, yeah, I need stickers or unless you want to do some painting. Uh, I did not use the number stickers because, well, I just, that's not how I remember Voltron having. Oh, I mean, yeah, the toys often have the numbers. I didn't decide not to use them right now. Maybe I will later, but as for now, I'm leaving them on this sheet. Uh, but I did use all the other stickers, and uh, there you go. So, the lions. All five of them, you know, you got... Oop, throwing them on the camera right here, on the view right here. But yeah, of course you have... Black lion, red lion, green lion, blue lion, and yellow lion. Or one, two, three, four, five. Yep, they have the five of them are here, and they are great looking. Um, there's also a bunch of accessories. I'll get into those as um, go through. But yeah, getting in close a little bit, I guess. Uh, black lion here. Yep, you can see um, on him most of his details on his face are on his head are painted, except for that little green bit. That part is a sticker. These little wet bits are stick white bits on the wings are sticker. But yeah, you can see he's pretty nice overall. The lion legs are all kind of gray plastic there. Unfortunately, these bits and insides of the legs are hollow. I wish they did not do that. I wish they're like insert. I mean, it's a it's a model kit. I wish they just made insert pieces or something, you know, to put in that. But uh, it is what it is, unfortunately. It wasn't that expensive. Um, you have the white and yellow and black, you know, all that stuff. It looks really nice. You know, and the sprue marks are for me because, well, yeah. Overall, it looks really nice. There's a spot where the number would go if I decided to put it on there. But, uh, hey. That a uh, red line is well, it's, it's much smaller because it's going to be an arm, but you know, also looks pretty good. Again, some sprue marks, um, I can probably go clean up those. That but yeah, you got again, it kind of the hollow bits, it's not as bad just because it has to be smaller. So, some hollow bits on the legs and stuff, but overall, it looks pretty good. You've got some sticker detail and whatnot. Again, some sprue marks, I can probably clean up a little bit later. All that stuff looks real good. Red green line is pretty much the same size, you can see again. You know, much rounder overall versus, you know, red line being very squared off. Much rounder overall looks real good. And has a bit of a stress mark right there from when I assembled it. Um, it did not want to click. And it clicked in and then, hey, look, there's now a stress mark there. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Overall looks real nice. Very much. A bit of red there. Gray again. The kind of hollow inside of legs. Just that. Of course, blue lion here. Hair there. Overall looks real nice again. Some be lots of detail on the head is done by sticker. Again, the gray. This is where yeah, I can see, really see the hollowness is like really bad on these legs right here, particularly on the hind legs. It's a little unfortunate, but overall looks still looks pretty good. Looks really good overall. That's a bit of red in there. Um, like that. And of course you got yellow line, which, you know, again, the red lines or blue lines more squared off. Red lines a bit or yellow lines a bit more rounded. I guess but yeah, you can see nice bit of detail on the head as well again from stickers all that stuff again hollow legs unfortunately you can see that inside but you know you got the little cannon and all that stuff and yeah overall they look great uh for a model kit of um how much it cost me like i want to say 70 80 dollars total with shipping so it wasn't too bad 
think, maybe. It might have been cheaper. Actually, it's going to be closer to $50, I think. It's been a bit, because I've been holding on to this for a while, because I had to be putting it off, because it's a bit more of an investment than usual, just because it's like, yeah, um... Because I review this thing, I have to build it, and I do those build videos. It took a long time, and... Well, it didn't take that long, but other stuff took priority. So you got all these guys, and yeah, overall, they look pretty good, I think, you know? I mean, they're kind of a cheaper model kit, but overall, they look pretty good. Now, as for articulation, they are a little bit different. Um, some of them, I'll only cover three, just because three of them are basically... Two, well, four of them are basically mirrors of each other, but... Black line here, well, you got the head is on a ball joint, so you got that all around. This is a hinge right here. The jaw can open and close, although sometimes when you open the jaw, the face comes with it. That's not supposed to happen, but, you know, these jaw can open pretty far. You got the little fangs right there. All that stuff, you have the tail, which can, you know, move up and down right here, like that. These uh, can swivel forward and back right there. Right here, the paws are here. There's a hinge right here for the legs, and there's another hinge right there. There's not really outward of any sort, unfortunately, right there. Uh, there is thanks to uh, big things for Voltron stuff. There's a there's a ball joint in the middle, so you can bend forward and a little bit back, and you go a little side to side as well, and twist right there. The hips right here are also uh, can move forward and back right there. You do have outward right there. There's a swivel right there. There's a hinge right here, which can goes actually pretty far back and pretty far forward. And the paws here can also, you know, move forward and back like that. And also this right here, which is mostly so, you know, hey, can you do a little sitting pose of sorts, I guess. Because he does that sitting pose thing. So, you know, if you want to do the sitting pose, it'll let you do the sitting pose, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to see if I can try it. But yeah, that's pretty much the purpose of that hinge. It's a little annoying because on mine, it's a little loose. Yeah, he can kind of do the sitting pose. Also, you can also open up the wings if you want. They didn't, he didn't really do it that much in the show, but you can open up the wings. And there you go. They, you know, they, they're hinge right here and there's twist and hinge right there. So there you go on that. It's going to sit him down right there. You stay. Now for red line, when, yeah, red line and green line have identical posability. Red line here, the, the head is on a ball joint as well. So you got... Yeah, you got left and right, you got up and down, you got all that waggle right there, the jaw can open and close. Again, the, the legs, you got forward and back right here, you got forward and back right here, there's actually a double joint right here. So you got forward on that joint and also forward on that joint, you got a hinge right there at the, the paw. Uh, thanks to uh, the fact that it's the arms, you can also, you know, back and forth right here in the middle, you do have a swivel right there, and also, um, if you really want, you can extend it out and kind of get more if you want just know that's mostly for the uh voltron but hey and then the hind legs also you know swivel for you know forward and back and forward and back right there and forward and back right there and the tail here can go up and down a bit not a whole lot without you know kicking something loose and there's another hinge right there and green line is pretty much identical there is no difference they are built exactly the same so there's no difference in articulation so there you go on that. So there you go. And blue line and yellow line also have the same articulation, which is, you know, the head's on a ball joint, but unfortunately limited upward because apparently they didn't want you to use this head for the combined mode, but you can go look down a bit. Uh, there is not really a lot of twisting because, yeah, it's the weird. It's a ball joint, but they intentionally, like, limited it for some reason. Jaw can open and close. Like that. You do have this joint as well. If you want to like, want them to look really far up or really far down, you can use that joint as well. Yeah, this is a little center like swivel right there. The front leg can swivel backwards and forward right there. There's a, there's a hinge right there. Go pretty far. There's a hinge right there as well. And thanks to the fact, you know, the articulation of the combined mode, you also have this hinge right here. So, you know, it's going to go back and forth. Uh, right here, there's also a hinge right here. Hinge right here and a hinge right here. And also there's a hinge right here on the tail and this hinge can also go up and down as well. So there you go. That's the, uh, so that's the articulation there. And that's, uh, again, green and green and yellow are pretty much the same as red and blue articulation wise. So there you go. Now as for a couple accessories they all have, they all have their little, uh, Blades, can you remember what they're called? I think it's sword attack. 
or they kept changing the name or something. Anyway, this is the black line one. You know, they're not really detailed. They're no paint or anything. Uh, for him, what you want to do is you can open the mouth, and there's a little slot there. There's the, the tab right here, and you just slot that into the bottom of the mouth and uh, holds it fairly well. Okay, not amazingly, but it's well enough that it's not going to come go anywhere. And yep, there's a uh, red lines, which is more of a kind of scythe looking shape thing. Again, this one. For him, what you do is in the mouth, you open that up and there's a peg hole on the roof of the mouth and you peg it into the roof like so and do that. And green lines is, you know, the tri-pointed one right here. Also looks good. And a little bit of detailing right there. And of course, yeah, that's also the same. It's just, you know, peg and peg hole in the roof of the mouth and you just peg it in like so. And there you go. Out. And the, by the way, <laughs> I just want to mention, if I can get them standing right, I want to mention, these are pointy. These are actually very pointy. So be careful with those. They can hurt. I just jab, jab myself a little bit. I'm going to show you here's um, blue lines. Double check that actually. Let me just double check that because I just kind of got a little nervous that I might have just mixed them up. No, I didn't. Okay. The yeah, blue line, green line have somewhat similar ideas with the whole tri point thing, but yeah, I guess with blue line is more of a trident, you know. So yeah, again, open the mouth. There's a peg hole in the roof of the mouth, and you just peg that into the roof of the mouth, and there you go, holds in very securely. And uh, yellow line got this thing, whatever that is, but yeah, very similar stuff, you know, thing, sort of thing, which is you know again, open up the uh, mouth and peg it in. And close it up and there you go uh there are no real other accessories for the lions unfortunately um no no shoulder no shoulder missiles or anything this cannon doesn't raise up for example no, yeah no shoulder bits no none of the other stuff they did in the show unfortunately that's just how it is i'm i i don't blame them really it, that would be a lot of accessories um one thing is also i want to say the stickers themselves actually not too bad for the most part they're actually pretty solid stickers i haven't had any problems yet but then again i just you know just assembled this a little bit ago so the stickers seem pretty solid. They actually seem to stick on pretty well, and they they feel good. They don't feel cheap. They don't feel like they're going to rip or fall off anytime soon. So uh, I'm pretty optimistic that they'll hold up over time. So hopefully that's the case. I don't know. I, I'd only built a handful of these. Uh, I only built one other uh, motoroid thing, which was uh, a while ago. But So that's, yeah, so they seem pretty good. So articulations pretty all right. Nothing amazing, amazing. But, you know, this is not a high-end set per se, but... It all works out pretty well. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys all ready to combine. You got to, you know, activate interlock, enter dino therms connected, intra cells up, <laughs> get thrusters are go, and let's go Voltron Force. So, you know, getting these uh, bits out of their mouths. Just get, get those out of the mouths real quick. So, uh, do that real quick. And then, uh, Go ahead and get started. So, okay, black line here, first of all. We'll close that mouth up. Well, for now, you gotta get straighten the, straighten the body out, and then, yeah, uh, take the take this, and of course, make sure that's all collapsed up, and then move these out of the way and close the tail up. There's a little slot here, or there's a little tab on there that basically holds that, kind of locks this in place so that doesn't move anymore. At least it shouldn't. And you go ahead and just straighten out the back legs like so, just straighten them completely out like that, you know, and like that. And there's the lower half, more or less done, right there. Now what you're going to do here is take these uh, the front legs and rotate them around like that, and like that. And then you go ahead and open up these panels right here, and whatever the heck that is. Open those panels, straighten out the leg, and rotate it inward like so. Just close that up and close that up. And same thing. Open up this panel, straighten out the leg, and then rotate it inward like so. And then close that up. And you take these and unfold this and bring them up like right here and then down like that. And uh Well there's more to do, but we gotta do this in the right order, you know. We gotta do things right order. So there's that. Now as for the uh arm guys here, what you wanna do, we'll close that up, press the I think this let head straighten out and collapse it in. Open up this little panel right here in the middle and then collapse the tail in like so. Close it back up. 
I'll take the um, legs and just well collapse that up and collapse these up right here like so. Collapse these up right there like that, and then take this and this peg. We'll need to you need to get this peg out, which on my and the red line is a little tight and it's a little scary. That just hurts a little, so uh, just be mindful of that. So that's the uh, red line done. It's the same thing with the green line. You know, just close up the mouth, collapse the head in, open up this panel back here. Close up the tail, bring that in, collapse the legs up, collapse them up like that, collapse these legs up like so, and like so, and then get this peg out, which on the green line is a little easier. There you go, that's the other arm. And that's for blue line, you can close that up. Then you want to go ahead and well collapse this leg up and collapse that leg up, collapse the tail up right here like so. Straighten this out like this so it looks like that and then take the legs here and bring it down like this so it looks more or less like that Same thing bring this down and collapse that in and makes it look like that And then bring this part out this is the heel and the problem is well they well because the anime is drawn the way it is You kind of have to do a part swap so there's a whole separate bigger head you can see that Significantly larger because that's one of the things that I was complaining you can't bend the head up so you have to take the head off and you have to plug in the other head, like so. So you know, you know, there's the whole thing, you know, the and then so that's a leg done. And yeah, same exact thing on a yellow line, which is you know, collapse the tail, collapse the legs, collapse the leg like this and like that. Take this and close that up, and you know, straighten this out or move this forward so that's you know, this is flat right here. And bring this up, bring this down right there, like that, and bring this down like that. Open this up for a heel support, and of course, once again, bring in the other head, which is bigger. Pop off this head and pop this one on, like that. And you are getting ready to go. So, you of course, you gotta form feet and legs, like so. And form arms and body. Like that. And of course, I'll for and I'll form the head. So you bring that down and open those uh, little bits up. And then of course open that mouth along with the head. And there you go. Bring everything out. And there you go. You have Voltron. And yeah, Voltron here looks real good. Um, for, oh no, considering it's a plastic model and everything, it's actually not bad at all. I really do genuinely like this guy a lot. I'm really proud of how well I built it. But yeah, getting in close again, you can see uh, some more detailing type of stuff. Not not that close, yeah, because you need details again. You got his face. You got the black and blue right up there along the eyes with the white and kind of the weird pursed lips and everything. You got his weird little cross symbol thing going on, cross and crown with all the multicolors going on there. Yeah, they were the belt buckle and the red and everything looking all good. You got this, you know, of course, lions, which we already just already saw. We got lions now with the bigger feet because anime. And right uh, here, of course, he's got his big old uh, shoulder wings and everything. This, uh, you know, hey, look, a TM and copyright WP because, you know, World Event Productions, they own Go Lion now. Kind of. They kind of co own it with Toei, I believe. Weird, complicated relationship that is. So, uh, yeah, um,. It's a good looking robot overall and uh, really like it. I really like this guy overall. Um, articulation wise, well, some of it's the same as before. You got this is on a ball joint too. So you got all that really nice and expressive right there. Nice and expressive uh, shoulders. These can also, you know, you can adjust these as you want. I wish there was a kind of a nice, like, I wish it was like a notch or something. So these kind of, kind of held steady, but um, it's not too bad overall. Uh, but yeah, shoulders here, you got full range, you guys got, you know, full 360, you got to kind of clear the little wing things, but hey, you got full 360 there, you got outward right here. You also got a little bit more outward thanks to the uh, this little hinge right here, which is nice. You do have, a, of course, a bicep swivel right there. You have an elbow joint, and it only goes that far, except, well, again, like I showed before, is this, you can click this in place, and now you got a bit more of a 90 degree elbows, you know, double jointed for just for 90 degrees. It's only for 90 degrees, unfortunately, just because of the shape. Uh, these pegs don't hold in super securely, unfortunately. I wish they did hold in a little better. I wish it was like something, again, there was a bit of a locking, more of a locking kind of mechanism there. 
uh, but unfortunately that's the case just the case um again the hands you got ball joints you got you know rotation and uh, a little bit of wiggle if you you know extend them out a little bit and of course the open and close again the same joint as before so you got this ball joint here so you got a lot of ab crunch and there's actually also a hinge right there ab crunch and get a little back and you get rotation right there and a little bit of wiggle and waggle right there which is nice hips you can go forward that far and back that far outward that far again kind of coming unplugged a little bit and of course you got Nice little, oh yeah, with, the, with this ab crunch right here, if you want to go ahead and unplug that, you can go really far down if you want, which is a little silly looking, but you can do it. Um, but yeah, you have to unplug this, and if you do unplug it, no snow, at least on mine, it was really loose. So uh, just be wide, mindful of that. Down here at the knees, though, um, double jointed knee right there, which is nice. You see that? It's the double jointed knee. It looks great because, yeah, there's a piece in there which bends as well, so you got this bend looks you know bends real nice and down here at the feet you do have a bit of ankle articulation the the that the the, um, the head lion heads can also rotate a little bit thanks to the ball joints so you can i guess get implied more articulation right there and of course yeah because of their the way they work there's also a bit of a uh, forward and back on that uh swivel as well so Oh, and one other thing I did oh, almost forget to mention, which is, yeah, the ankles can actually extend out. There's a little slider here, and they'll let you extend the ankles out, which gives you even a uh, further range on the uh, ankle tilts, which is, you know, pretty good. Right there, so it'll give you further range on the ankle tilts, so you know that's pretty good. Yeah, again, Voltron here, really nicely articulated for a, a little figure like this. Well, it's not little, little, it's uh, actually pretty good size. So, uh, let's see. He's just got, again, more accessories, actually. A couple more of them, namely, uh, well, of course, he's got, uh, well, the iconic one, the Blazing Sword, which, again, the hilt just looks nice and everything. All that stuff. There's a little peg here, which, of course, he can hold in either hand. Yes, I'm going to put it in the left hand. He has used his left hand before. Don't don't yell at me, because I remember there was episodes where, yeah, I remember there's one specifically where he swapped hands, so don't get on my case about putting it in the left hand. Blech. Anyway, yeah, the same peg hole you use for the uh, little uh, mouth blades uh, used for the sword as well. That just, if I can get that in there, yeah. Use it for the same same thing. Let's plug that in, and there you go. Now he's holding this, the sword. He also has the, uh, what do they call this, laser shield? I believe it's the laser shield. At least I'm not sure if they use the same name, Voltron. I can't remember. It's been a bit. A spinning laser blade, that's what it was. He's got the spinning laser blade, got this whole thing. And again, he's got the same peg hole. Because of this, how this works, you can rotate this either way so you can actually hold it properly. Again, same thing with the whole, it's, you know, peg and porch and... There you go. I can hold that too. Right there. And he's got another accessory, which is, hey, look, is a uh, little double sabers or what are they called? this in? combat spear solar combat spear yeah it's just basically you can use it you can yeah you can use it as a spear ow again pointy be careful you can use it as a spear if you want you know, as, as before still use it as a spear or got to get the blazing sword out of here you can you know pop it apart and now you get the double uh, blades would you use this oh, sparingly um he, he tends to pull them from like behind his back and there's nowhere to put them back there i looked unfortunately there's like no like I wish like you could like put them somewhere at the least, but no, there's nothing. No, put them. So unfortunately, it's one of those things where hey, guess what? They got to put the accessories. You got to figure out where to put the accessories. Good luck with that, jerk. <laughs> and yeah, one last accessory, which is this thing, which it's a little cover, which um, yeah, you, know, you put this on right here, and hey, look, now he has a well a display uh, stand port. So yeah, you can use that with any sort of display stand. You know, the standard Tamashi, or even well. Because it's good smile, Figma uh, standard works too, or or any of the other model kit stands, any of their like model kit stands or whatever can uh or Figma stands or whatnot. Basically, these stands they can just you know use it. You can use it as a stand and have them. Yeah, you can kind of have them floating. Although yeah, so he's a bit on the heavier side for a model kit, so you got to be watch it with you know certain use certain ones. So yeah, basically yeah. 
Well, he might be compatible with this in the sense, in the Flensig plug-in. He's not compatible in the sense he's a little heavy for it. So, uh, yeah. Just, just, just so you know on that one. Yeah, that's, um, that's, uh, that's one last thing, I guess. One last thing to do is to compare them, I guess. Just a quick, 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 quick comparison for people who uh, watch this channel. Here's... Here's a one six figure Bochi, you know, this Bochi the Rock is just one six figure head on hand. So, you know, that's a one six, that's a one twelve scale figure, just to give you an idea. I should one six, but yeah, one twelve scale figure, more or less. So, gives you an idea. That's a standard Figma, Fig Arts, whatever have you type of thing. So, just be aware of that. We're in that general ballpark. Here's a Commander Class Optimus, Studio Series 86 Optimus, just to give you an idea there. Because, you know, as we know, Optimus is a Voltron's hype man. So, yeah, he's a bit taller than Optimus here. So yeah, which means he's bigger than the, your starting Transformers leader class. Not by much though, it's like by a head or so, a little bit over the head, but yeah. So he's a bit on the large side, uh, I would say, yeah, about eight, nine inches tall, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and considering his price, he's actually not too bad. He's a model kit, you have to build himself. It took me about, just, I want to say, so we have a two and a half hours total with well, that stickering and you know that's building stickering and everything. That's not a bad uh, thing. So yeah, he's he's good. He's I think he's really good. He's a good price. I'm not sure he's still available. He this came out in like what June or July of this year, and I'm just now around getting to it. And now by the time this you see this video, my favorite will be, I think it's very well going to be November. <laughs> by the time you see this video. Yeah, it took me a while, but it's good. And if you can find one, I'd still recommend. I'd recommend it if you like Voltron. If you like classic '80s Voltron, uh, yeah, it's a good little kit. Um, it's way more affordable than say the Soul Chogokin or the what was that other one? There's another one out there that's also a high end, like seven hundred dollar one or something. So it's a really affordable kit, and it's, you know, not as difficult to get as to say the old uh, Super Mini Pla was it has become. So. Yeah, I think, yeah, if you're into Voltron and model kits, this is a good thing to get. I would very much recommend if those th those apply to you. Um, and the stickers aren't too bad either, overall. Of course, you could also just paint it if you want, but hey. Yeah, check them out if you're into Voltron at all, if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, it's just a fairly good solid figure, I think. Maybe they'll do a vehicle Voltron too, and I may get that one too. So I don't know, who knows? Or whatever they call it. Die Rugger? Was it Die Rugger? Something like that. Anyway. So that's it for this review. I hope you find it informative and entertaining. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my uh, social media down in the description and at the end of the video. Check out my coffee and my Patreon. And I shall see you next time with another video review.